in this video, we're going to continue this example of a linear programming solution with two decision variables and a minimization objective function. If you need to review how to write an objective function, how to establish constraints, how to graphically uh, map those constraints or the corner point method, please see previous videos because in this video, we're going to use the objective function solution to identify the optimal solution and it is fairly straightforward. So we recall from previous videos that our objective function is equal to the minimize is equal to six X one plus three X two. That's our objective function. So all we're going to do for our objective function solution is we're going to pick an arbitrary point for our total cost in this case. Uh, so we're going to say 36 is equal to six X one plus three X two. You can pick whatever point you want for this value right here. My recommendation is that you pick a value that is divisible by the various um, decision variables that you have. So 36 is divisible by six and by three. So it's uh, a fairly uh, useful number to start with. So first we're going to plot our objective function on our graph. So we need to find where this um, objective function line intercepts our x1 and x2 axes. So let's just set x1 is equal to zero. So 36 is equal to six times zero, setting x1 is equal to zero plus three x2. So this means that 36 is equal to three x2. I can do better than that, three x2, which means that 12 is equal, well, well I won't st skip a step. 36 divided by three is equal to x2. So therefore 12 is equal to x2. All we're gonna do is go up and we're going to plot this here. Um, I'll use a different color. I guess, I guess red will do. So when x1 is equal to zero, x2 is equal to 12. And then we're going to do the same thing, but this time set x2 is equal to zero. So 36 is equal to 6x1 plus 3x2. Set x2 is equal to 0. So 36 is equal to 6x1 plus 3 times 0. So that means that 36 is equal to 6x1. So 36 divided by 6 is equal to x1. So 6 is equal to x1. So again, we'll just plot this. And all we're going to do, I think I wanna use a different color. Let's see, what color can I use? Let's use orange instead of red. All we're going to do is plot our objective function here through these two points. And once our objective line is plotted, so this is our objective function. So this is min z is equal to 6x1 plus 3x2. Because this is a minimization problem, we are going to move our objective line towards the origin, meaning towards point zero zero. And what we're looking for is the point within the feasibility region, and we covered this in a pre previous video, but the feasibility region is to the right of this shaded region. We're looking to the point where it is the last point within the feasibility region where this objective function line touches. So if you just take a straight edge and you trace it along the graph, what you're going to get is the last feasible solution or your optimal solution where the point touches the line last is at point C, right? Just drawing a straight line there. You can see that these two lines are parallel with each other. So as we move the line towards the origin, it's the last point within our feasibility region. And we've identified that it is point C. And in our previous video where we identified that the optimal solution was point C, 
using the corner point method, we, knew, we now have two solutions that point to the same thing, that point C is our optimal solution. So that's how we use the objective function to find our optimal solution. And if you wanted to calculate at which value this would give you, so how much cost would it give you in this case, um, you would have to solve this algebraically for the intercepts of these points, uh, of these lines for point C. If you need a refresher on how to do that, please see the previous video. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If this video helped make business analytics easy, consider giving the video a like. And if you need additional help with business analytics, please consider subscribing to the channel. I look forward to solving many more problems with you next time.